Hey, what's going on, guys? Badash4 here, and I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video today. And, uh, just get the formalities out of the way. If you, uh, wouldn't mind hitting that like button, you know, subscribe, and if you like the video, you know, watch it all the way through. You never know, you might like it. But, uh, this is Hardcore Team Deathmatch on Nuketown. Um, I'm using the KN44. I go 48 and 17, and I basically carry my whole team. And, you know... <laughs> The kill limit is 100 on Team Deathmatch, and I get 48 kills, so basically I get half of our kills. And uh, today, what I want to be talking about is um, what I like to use in Hardcore, because, you know, Hardcore Team Deathmatch is my game mode. I love, I love it. It's probably the best, in my opinion. It is the best, because you usually don't run into that many people who are camping, and... You know, you usually don't have a problem with people just sitting in corners and stuff. Most of the time, everybody's running around, running and gunning. And, you know, that, that's what I like. I like running around, you know, competing with people. And, uh, that's what this mainly is. And right there, I kind of messed up. But, uh, starting out with the perks. Perk number one, I either like to use Overclock, which is get your specialist ability faster, which if you're using Sparrow, not Sparrow, uh, Vision Pulse, like I do, it comes back fairly quickly, and Vision Pulse really comes in handy in Hardcore and Teed and Deathmatch. It's basically wall hacks, you know, within a short area of you. And it just, it just really gives you an upper hand. I either like to use Overclock or Ghost. The reason for Ghost is, you know, there's already no mini-map in Hardcore, but when they get a, uh, when teams get a UAV, because that's what a lot of people like to use. They like to use UAVs in Hardcore. And if you have Ghost, and you just keep moving... They're not going to see you ping at all on the minimap. And that's one of the reasons I really like Ghost. And for the second perk, I really only like to use fast hands. The reason being is because you're pretty, mu you're pretty much sprinting the whole time you're playing. So, and what fast hands does, I didn't even see that guy, by the way. He's, he's been running around with the pistol and he gives me hell this whole game. But, uh, the reason being is because fast hands, you aim faster after sprinting. And you're pretty much sprinting the whole game. Unless, you know, you're aiming around a corner or something. Like, you'll see me do every now and then. See, but the guy with the pistol got me again. Uh, but, I mean, if you want to trade anything, I mean, I usually don't go on crazy kill streaks and all that. See, that's good example of vision pulse but I died um I don't go on crazy kill streaks or anything so I don't have a need to use scavenger you know I'm not just absolutely amazing at this game so I don't have a need for scavenger and I mean usually when I do I'll just pick up another gun and go because it's hardcore um for perk three I would eat uh my top two is gung ho and blast suppressor together in hardcore Reason being gung ho in hardcore is because it really gives you an upper hand mixed with fast hands. Because gung ho, what it does, it allows you to shoot your gun while sprinting. Not in a, well, it allows you to hit fire while sprinting, and that will that can give you a big upper hand in hardcore. <clears throat> and the reason I say blast suppressor is because I usually run a suppressor on my gun, and you know, sometimes you'll run into people who are sound whoring. And Blast Suppressor just makes it to where I'm comfortable boost jumping around. Especially when I'm running by myself. Because I run by myself a lot. And I usually play solo. So, it makes me feel more comfortable running by myself playing solo when I'm using Blast Suppressor. And what I'm using, I'm using the KM44. And what I recommend is a silencer, because it's hardcore, there's no damage, I mean, it's it's usually one-shot kill, unless you're at stupid long range. Um, and the reason I say a silencer and blast suppressor is because it just make, make it harder for people to hear you shoot, and while you're moving around. Uh, the next attachment is quick draw, which is basically imperative. And the reason being is because that and Fast Hands and Gung Ho all kind of work together. Because Quick Draw Grip makes it to where you aim faster. And if you have Fast Hands, 
is it's basically gonna make it to where you're aiming super fast and the third attachment is fast mags and the reason I say fast mags is because it is hardcore and it is very fast paced and if you get caught in a reload you're not gonna live like usually in core you you can live you know if you're playing you know just regular old domination you might be able to live if you get caught in a reload but in hardcore chances are you're not you're not gonna live because one sh one shot up to two you're done and right here that guy should have killed me but yeah like I was saying you know go back over it you know overclocker ghost fast hands gung-ho blast suppressor and definitely if you're playing hardcore check out the KN44 because it is one of the best guns in hardcore uh, not necessarily core because I mean I don't really play core that kind of ruined it for this game it takes way too many bullets to kill um, but I mean I'm really just your average Call of Duty player I'm nothing special I mean right now I've got like a 2.4 non KD I think and I mean I'm just I'm not that good I mean, you'll see I'm 39 and 16 right now and we are barely winning um, you know I'm not really one to carry a team I'm really not you know it might happen once in a blue moon you know if you don't know what that means it's extremely rare um, but I mean if you just you just gotta play smart and you gotta know what to use and you know if you notice I get a I get one hell storm that's my highest kill streak I get one hell storm but I mean it's the fact that I'm just playing smart and you gotta know what to use see the uh, vision pulse really does come in handy see there, there's where I get my hell storm and for some reason I've mentioned this I've I have mentioned this in a previous video I don't know why it doesn't show uh, like my teammates names or like the red on enemies I don't know I couldn't tell you and I do believe that we just won the game and I ended uh, 48 and 17 and I do believe that is it um, 48 and 17 yeah so basically I was the only one that went positive on my team that's kind of sad look at the other team and look at my team I got stuck with the trash they had a good setup if I would have had those guys on my team it would have been over a long time ago but yeah guys I just wanted to share what perks I use and everything uh, you know attachments to my gun but yeah guys thanks for watching if you watched it all the way through leave a comment saying you did like the video please subscribe if you like it and I'll talk to you guys later